So in class, we got through number 14, which was we did this uh, Zen map scan from target windows over to pump or over to Web01. And we already updated our thing before, but I know I did mine in blue for what's normal, like these three in black here are normal. What we just did was unknown one, which was a scan, a network scan of this guy. Okay, so that's one of the bad things we did. And then you save this file. If you didn't get through there, you kind of got to go back and do that again. You'll get faster at it as you try. The second move we're going to do is we are going to browse Web01 from Pump Monitor. Now, Pump Monitor is supposed to be sending log files via FTP. It is not supposed to browse to them. So the browsing should come from here where the, the technician is allowed to see what is in long-term storage. Pump monitor is not supposed to be able to do that. So that's what we're about to do. Okay, so time to do something shady from pump monitor to web01. So the first thing we got to do is open up pump monitor. So I go to connections, I open up pump monitor, and remember it's user and password for pump monitor. They all have different ones. We should write that on our list. All right, so we're logged into pump monitor. Uh, virtually, which is a Linux machine. Okay, and then the next thing we want to do, since we are um, going to be doing something weird to Web01, we want something there to record it, and that would be Wireshark. So we also need to go in here and open up a connection to Web01, which you'll remember sometimes takes a while. So I'm going to pause while this thing loads up. So we load it up. I can tell I'm on Web01 because you can see the IP address here in the blue bar. Uh, the next thing we want to do is open up Wireshark. And this is similar to what we did before. Um, you want to pick Ethernet 4 again. So Ethernet 4 is at the... Wow, well, this is... There it is. Ethernet 4 is here at the bottom. And then I want to type in not and then port 3389 and port, or sorry, or 22, because those are the two connections. We don't want to keep getting data on them. So basically, this is putting a little tracker on Web01 to record any suspicious stuff we do. Enter suspicious stuff we're about to do. So I want to shrinky-dink this down. Boom. We're back on pump monitor, and now we're going to browse it. Now, since it's a Linux machine, we can't use Chrome or anything. Um, so we're going to use this built-in uh, tool called Lynx, and it's basically a browser that turns websites into text format, which would be a terrible way to look at most web pages. So we're going to type in this Lynx HTTP uh, 10.2.0.7. It's the same kind of attack or same kind of browsing you do from a Chrome. Lynx HTTP colon slash slash 10.2.0.7. I'll double check that before I do it. Also check my slash direction. Okay, so this is suspicious behavior because, yeah, there it is. Look at that. This is all the text from their homepage. Um, this is suspicious behavior because uh, you shouldn't be able to do this from pump monitor. So now we're going to Close the connection because it's recording it all the while on the other one. Um, we're going to go back to Web01. And so that's down here. And close this thing. Stop it. Don't delete it. And then we're going to file, save as. This is very similar to the moves we do before. So once you get used to it, it's pretty good. Remember, always change this to the TCP dump. Boom. And we're going to name this um, our name Web01 Unknown2. Okay, so this is our second unknown move. So uh, Web01 and then Unknown2. Okay, I think that's what we see. Yeah, so we already changed the type. I do that first. And then we need to get it to our machine. So I'm going to hit save. If you noticed at the top, we saved it into a file called ISA tools, I-S-S-A tools. 
Sounds like Jar Jar Binks is saying it, right? Um, so we need to get this to our real machine. So what machine is it on right now? It's on Web01. So we need to go to target windows, our main screen. So I'm shrinking this down. I already closed the other one. I need to connect to Web01 for an FTP transfer. So we've done this before, but it takes practice. So we get onto our PowerShell. We're going to FTP to our Web01, which is 10.2.0.7. Right? If you have your thing out, it's handy. User is user. Password is password. Hopefully you're getting used to it. Oh, did I misspell that? Let's try that again. Okay. Uh, you have to hit quit if you mess that up. So FTP 10.2.0. I'll double check. Yeah, it is dot zero dot seven. Okay. So we're gonna go ten dot two dot zero dot seven, hit enter, type in user. This time I'll be more careful. P A N S W O R D. That's the problem with not being able to read it. What the heck? Hmm. Huh. One more try. Am I miss? It wouldn't ask me for a username if I didn't. It is user. And, oh, that's the problem. It's not user and password. It's anonymous. Ah. And then just hit enter on password. Ah, that was a rookie mistake. Now I'm logged in. Whew. Hopefully you don't go through all that issue. Okay. So I'm logged in. Now, if I do ls and look around, you can see ESA tools right here. I can't grab the file until I get into it. So I'm going to go change directory, CD, ISSA, underscore tools, hit enter, look around again. Um, there's my KGood Web01 right here. I want to get it. So I type in get and then spell it exactly like it. Unknown. .pcap. Enter. Transfer complete. So now it's on this computer, as long as you can find it. Okay, so I open this up. Come on. I open this up. Did, I, did it freeze on me? Can I do anything? There it is. I open this up. Where is it? It's in local disk C. It's not in ESA tools. It's in users. It's in ESA tools on the other one admin there it is okay and remember you're going to drop it not into gian guacamole but into the down fo download folder in there and watch the bottom of my screen it popped in there so now i have it on my computer it's unknown too okay so modify our network traffic for this suspicious behavior because we just did it up here right so now you should have a red mark from here to here saying Oh, it browse unknown was a unknown two was a browse from pump monitor to web o one. That's sus, man. And I just got the uh, I just got the Wireshark capture of that. Okay. So similarly, after seeing it twice, now you're going to do one last round, and that's to transfer a file from web o one to pump plc. So this is very similar to what we did before where let me get the picture back up here i'm allowed to transfer files from pump monitor to web01 what would be weird is if web01 was sending files back this way okay because web01 should just be retrieving files to put in the database to like keep track of how my pumps are running okay so that's what you're about to do in um the third round and you'll see you get good at this stuff um once again you'll open up tar i didn't close mine down thankfully um you'll open up a new wireshark capture so let's let me close this down close this down okay open this up i'm going to close it 
because I don't want to save that old stuff. I want this to be a brand new one. So I open up Wireshark. I do the Ethernet 4, the NOT port. So you should be getting pretty good at this stuff. All right, I'm starting a new Wireshark capture. Um, now we're going to capture ourselves doing it uh, badly. Um, so now when we're still in Web01, we're going to open up their PowerShell because this is a Windows computer. It's basically going to record the bad thing I do. So let's open up PowerShell while we're in here. I can tell I'm in it by this blue bar. Now it says type in ls. Um, and there's a big text file related to the website. So we're going to go ls. Okay. Whoa, look at that. Look at that huge thing. There's the size of it. Mywebfile.txt. So let's say I was malicious and wanted to bomb these guys at the big file. I'm going to send it to, ooh, this is even worse. I'm going to send it to my pump PLC. Now that machine is only supposed to um, control motors. It's it's a very, it's not a super intense machine. It's just supposed to control the motors to do what they're supposed to do. I shouldn't be sending it file bombs, and that's what we're about to do here. Okay, so we, we're going to, in our PowerShell, we saw the file we're going to send, and now we're going to start up um, an FTP session to pump PLC. Okay, so um, let's make a connection here. So FTP 10.2.0. And I don't know if you remember which one it is, but if you have this little thing out, you'll see PLC is the 05. And remember, their password is vagrant vagrant. Okay, oh, it tells you right there. That's nice. So 0.5. Vagrant, vagrant. You should look that word up if you don't know what it means. I'm logged in. All right, so we're logged into Vagrant, and now um, we're gonna we're gonna send that file to them. Okay, so where was I? Oh yeah, we're gonna put we're gonna send the file from Web01, the bad file, to PLC. So remember, this is weird. The file's on. Um, this we're on web 01 and I want it to go there. It would be weird for me to log into PLC and get a file. So this is when I actually want to put a file. We haven't done put in a while, but I'm going to put this bad file, suspicious file onto the other computer. My, just spell it correctly. Right. And we put it on there. Oh, it timed out. I waited too long. Hold on. Let me log back in. So once again, I'm trying to send this file to that computer. So I logged in again to, to the vagrant one, and I'm gonna put my underscore web underscore file dot txt onto that computer. Okay, so there, transfer complete. And I can tell it's there if I type in ls, see how I'm logged into their computer. And not only do they have the pump log, which they normally do and should, they now have this file, which they shouldn't. Okay, so basically we did what we should. We had to use the word put. We typed in ls a while we were logged in. Now we can close all that stuff and we need to save this Wireshark and get it to our computer one more time. Um, okay, so let's do that. Let's, oh geez, how do I? refresh. So I'm on here. I close down this. I stop the wire shark. I save it again. File. Save as. Um, I'm going to change it the type to the TCP dump. I'm going to say uh, K good. Web01. Here, let me pause and do that. So I save the file here. I'm going to shrink that down. I go back to PowerShell here. I connect to my Web01 computer. I'm logged in using anonymous and 10.2.0.7, and I change directory to ESA tools again. And then I typed in ls, and I can see my unknown three. Now I have to get it to this computer to my real computer. All right, so then I go into users, admin. I see my unknown three. 
I drag it and I put it in the downloads folder and I'm done. Boom. All right. Good times, man.